Hi. Today, while I was playing in my Windows Store, um, looking for an app that would help me find restaurants tonight. Yep, I'm using Windows 8. I was informed by the AR department that we needed to issue a credit memo in sales order processing for one of our customers so they can pay the bill. So I better take a look at that. You notice I'm using the split screen. So I'll just click on the Microsoft Dynamics and now it's up and my store is still open on the side. Pretty cool, huh? So anyhow, I was given some specific line items on some specific invoices for one customer, Aaron Fitz Electrical, and I was asked to create a return. So in, sales tr uh, in the sales series, under transactions, I'm going to simply create a brand new transaction called sales transaction entry, and I will create a return. Now I'm going to let the uh, document number default, and I'm going to look up Aaron Fitz Electrical. I do a lot of work with him, and I'm going to go ahead and put him in a batch. Um, let's call it a return batch, and I'll add the batch. And now, because I know specifically which line items on which invoices I want to credit, rather than manually typing the, them in, I'm going to choose the copy feature. So on the action button, I'll choose copy. And it's an invoice I'm going to copy. Now I could click on the lookup and it'll go through all the invoices. But I know specifically which one it is, so I could save some time by typing it in. So I was told to refund all of standard invoice 2044. So I'm going to use the price description from the source, so the original invoice, rather than from the target. And I want it to include all lines and copy any comments or everything. So I'll just simply go ahead and say OK to copy that. And whoop, looks like this is a serial item number, so I better select a serial number. And I'm just going to make up one and key it in. And we'll insert that. And I'll say OK. Oop, there were five of them. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get in the serial numbers later. Now, I was also told there was a specific line item on another invoice. So what I'm going to do again is go back up to Actions and Copy. So yes, you can copy multiple invoices onto one invoice. So I know this one is actually a standard invoice 2252. But this time I do not want to mark all lines to copy. So I'm just going to click, unclick that option and choose Preview. And now I can see both of the line items that appeared on that original invoice. And I can see this is the one that I'm interested in returning. So I'll click OK. And now I'll click on Copy. So now I have completed a brand new return that copied line item or line items from multiple invoices, making my input a lot faster and a lot easier. Hope this helps.